Automatic here. Welcome to a game called another, let me say, another early access game called Next Day. It looked like this one was in a little bit of dire straits right now, so I wanted to check it out and see what was going on. What's, what, maybe what's wrong with it? I don't know. Maybe it's not in dire straits. Maybe I'm seeing something wrong. Let's jump in. So what, how I got introduced to this game, I was looking through my game library and I saw this one pop up and it looked kind of interesting. It's an open world survival game. Not, not too, not completely unfamiliar with that on my channel. Um, and I wanted to watch the video, I watched the trailer, and I, and I said, I want this trailer to sell it to me. It looked pretty interesting. Um, they start with some live action stuff and kind of scatter it through the thing, and they, they want to get the concept down of what they want this game to be, and I really hope it is that, because it looks pretty cool. If it's not, I'm able to enjoy it with whatever it is, but, you know what, let's just start by building the character. I want to name him something different than Rambit, but I don't know what's sing oh, single survival. You know what, I'm going to go with main... I don't know. Let's just go random, eh? <laughs> single, sure. Let's just go single. I wish I could change my name, but uh, no. Okay. Let's just click and click, click, click. Something super Russian, eh? Something super Russian looking. Like, this guy looks like Nico. Nico Bellic, kind of. Just not very, maybe not very much. Uh, so you can't change his body, actually. That's not true. Let's go. Let's go with the muscle shirt. Gotta go with the muscle shirt. I think you can see the graphics are a little bit low tone, but as they say, look, this version of the game is not final one, a lot will be modified and improved. So I'm thinking that means the graphics. The good thing about that is, the frame rate's gonna be good when you watch this. So, <laughs> I thought I'd just mention that. So, he's got his undies on. Let's, let's go with the blue undies. We've gotta go with the blue undies. Perfect. Let's just start a game and go straight into it. Um, it's the last survivor. Game mode in which action takes place in the area contaminated talks to fog. Time is limited. Ah, no, nah, I don't like that. Let's let's just relax. Uh, there's only one place to go. Single mode. Number of players one. Like, I like how they how when games can can you know really just um can tone the experience for the individual. Uh, B Battlegrounds does a really good job of that. It's much better to play with friends, but by yourself it's just as good. I'm a bit a bit of a lone wolf teamwork. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, I just had to try again. If that happens, try again. I think what I'll do for this game is do a single player first impressions, and if I really, if it's really, if it really catches my attention or someone says, oh no, no, play the multiplayer, it's really good, I absolutely will. Um, I just, I don't know, I just like to start off a little bit slower because you know how things can go, if, especially if you're playing stuff like Rust or any of the, any of these open world survival games, you spawn in. All around you, there are people that just willing to take you down. I want to experience the game for what it is, and if that unfortunate stuff just happens, it just happens, right? I like to do. I, for some reason, I like to do. Whoa, what's that in the corner there? I like to stick to my first impressions um, solo. Okay, it is still moving. That's good. The little logo there. Oh, that's the loading bar. I see. I get it now. All right, here we are. Oh my God, safe zone. I see. Okay, let's see. We got some people saying in the bottom left there. We got Naj Najmitya Vavod Vavod No, Dlia. Sorry, Nab Nabora Substiania. Nabora Substiania. Do I have to change it to English? <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm learning Russian, but I'm not nearly good enough to, to understand what that's saying. Sight, so we have cross. Oh, we gotta, gotta go with the brackets. Christ, I just looked through the controls. Why did I look through the controls? How do I put away my weapon? I gotta look through the controls again. <laughs> oh, okay, he's, he's put him down. Good. Um, you can drive vehicles. This is one of my favorite vehicles in, in, in games, by the way. Like, Battlefield 1942, when I used to play that, my god, I loved that vehicle. It was so cool. I just love the way they look. But, um, the controls are extremely complicated, by the way. And the animation is actually surprisingly good. Let's just change this to first person. Oh, okay. Left, alt, and mouse allows you to, to look around or view the character. That's very similar to Battlegrounds. Okay. So they want to restrict your gameplay experience to the way that they want you to play it and not allow any customization. That's always nice. I hate when games don't allow first person, first person views. Especially with a game like this, like, this first person view should be off to the side, not right directly behind the character. Oh no, I can already tell this is going to be a game I'm not going to enjoy. <laughs> 
pretty much for me. I, I, I like the first person experience. You seen you've seen me play Battle Battlegrounds, uh, Peter Armbrose Battlegrounds. Yes, you seen me play Battlegrounds before. Can I just steal this jacket? Seriously? Legit. This, this is probably my house, by the way. But um, I, I like the first person, and I think Battlegrounds. I, I give Battlegrounds props for for. Um, for allowing the choice of first person. It does put me at a little bit of a disadvantage in the game, but you can switch to third person to, to put yourself on a level playing field when it's required. You know, like there's advantages to both and disadvantages to both, but I I just prefer the first person personally. We got we got Sprat. Whatever Sprat is. Let's see if we can talk to some people and get some guns. Start killing. What do we got in our inventory? We may as well check. We got a map of... Let's read this place. Severufimsky. I'm going to say probably say that wrong because I'm just kind of running over it, but hope it's mostly right. Uh, electronic watch. Good. We got soda. We got food. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's going to be needs and stuff like that. I, I was not even thinking about needs. What's What are our needs? How do we check those? I'm sure it'll tell us when, it, when things get really serious. This is a part that attracted me to the game. You can upgrade your skills. Nice and simple skill tree, it looks like, but we'll have to see. I'm guessing it's it's a lot like Rust, where you die and then you have to restart. So it's a very very, I don't want to say the word shallow, but you know what I'm saying. Like it's it's a relatively shallow. Ooh. Can I just take talked to Strass? I get a knife for that. Do I? Strass is just leaving. Okay, <laughs> but it's got a very shallow and hopefully quickly earned, relatively quickly earned. Um, skill th tree uh, especially if it's a game where you die and you have to restart all over again uh, that would be that would not be very nice okay I, I get it now this is that dude oh listen to that Russian language eh where are, where are you there okay. good luck brother I haven't I see you haven't been here long I'm Stas. Uh, stay close. I'll be helping you at first. I have a knife. I'm hiding on the outskirts of the camp. If you bring me some brushwood, brushwood for campfire, I'll tell you its exact location. Okay. <laughs> All right, Doctor Kleiner, we'll get that for you. Oh, I want it. Oh, is that a vase? That's a vase. I think it's a vase. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not too up to snuff on my on my Russian cars. Old school Russian cars. Oh, I thought, like, around the camp meant outside, but I guess I could just... Hmm. The animations are actually good. Like, like, sure, they're not the best, but but for a work in progress that looks to be fairly early in development, like, this looks kind of like Stalker's graphics. Um, but then again, I'm probably misremembering Stalker, and it might be a little bit better or even worse if I <laughs> went back. It depends on which one I'm talking about, but... Excellent. This will keep us warm tonight. I did promise you a knife. Head north. You'll find it in the bushes behind the tents. It's yours. Come back again. I will always have a job for you. Um, pick up. Let's go get that knife right now. I want... Ah, I'd have to listen to that again. Why do I want to learn Russian? I should probably just answer the question right off the bat. I want to learn Russian because, um, learning Russian, learning, sorry, learning different languages is a very valuable skill. So if you learn the languages, oh my god, if you learn the languages, uh, that you're interested in, it's easier to learn, right? If you're not interested in the language, like the first time you learn a language, it, 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 the second time, third time becomes easier, I've heard. Um, so if I, ooh, jogging shoes and gray pants. You know what? That's better than having no pants. <laughs> he just see this man knows what's up he just straight puts it on I haven't even asked him to do that uh, so let's go see if we can find some more missions but yes uh, second third fourth time makes it easier to learn and long story short short I'm interested in either Russia or it's the, the alphabet or the, the, the culture or the I don't, I don't know what it is so I was just interested in learning it and it just makes it easier to learn Russian is it just okay that I'm like stealing ammunition and stuff like, we gotta shoot a guy before this episode's over, but I gotta end it. I gotta end it already. We'll try to... We'll try to kill a dude. That'll be our next goal. Next episode. Let's go back to this dude. See what he says. I guess we'll do that next time, actually. So, if you've enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So far, this is kind of piquing my interest. I'd like to see where this goes. Um, so, yeah, leave a like and subscribe. Do all that goofy stuff. And, uh, and um, I hope you'll, I hope, I'm hoping you'll come back for episode two. Mm -hmm.
Thank you.